Bitcoin, which is a digital decentralized currency. That basically means Bitcoin only exists as computer code and there is no bank or government creating or controlling it. And I know that this is already a little hard to understand, so I'll let this man in a Bitcoin suit give you a surprisingly <laughs> decent explanation. I'm a virtual currency. <laughs> Worldwide, you can send for little to no fees. Open source, not controlled by any government, corporation or individual. It's financial freedom, bro. <laughs> Thanks, bro. That is a nuanced and accurate explanation of a complex topic delivered with the help of a man in a stupid costume, and I would love to make fun of that, except it's literally the entire business model of this fucking television show. <laughs> and look, you, you may at this point be thinking, but wait, how do you make money from Bitcoin? To which Dan would say, you just trade it on exchanges like any other currency. And if you then asked, well, how does it have value? Dan would reply, how does any money have value, man? And then he'd say, call me the brain for later, because I just blew your fucking mind. <laughs> to which you'd say, forget I asked, Dan, you're absolutely gross, I hate you. <laughs> but the problem is, Dan is kind of right. Like most currencies, the fundamental reason that Bitcoin has value is because people agree that it has value. In fact, at the moment, it's really being treated more like a speculative investment than a currency. Think of it like Beanie Babies. Why is this Beanie Baby currently being offered for sale on Etsy at a price of $15,000? <laughs> well, because its owner thinks that someone will pay that for it. And you know what? That owner was absolutely right. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just bought this at a yard sale for $10,000. I'm not a complete idiot. And look, while Bitcoin is very interesting as a concept, there are still some complicated technical issues to work out before it can become a usable everyday currency. Just look what happened in January. Hundreds are in Miami this week for a Bitcoin conference, but it had to stop taking Bitcoin as a payment for tickets last week, suggesting there are still some kinks to work out with the currency. It's true. A Bitcoin conference stopped taking Bitcoin, which is a red flag, since that's the one place you'd think it would be accepted. It's like when I tried to pay for access to the Republican National Convention using Ronald Reagan's dusty skeleton bones. <laughs> Everyone there agreed they had value, there just wasn't an adequate network in place for the completion of our transaction. 